as simple as it is to run an analysis in IBM SPSS statistics software. In order to use the output most effectively, you must be able to get your results out of SPSS and into another application. So for example, you may want to include a table in a presentation or a chart in a poster. We are going to dive deeper into how to use the SPSS results in other applications. As we discuss how to use SPSS results in other applications, I must stress that you should never, never use raw SPSS output in a publication. None of the SPSS tables or charts are in APA style. Therefore, you should always reformat the output before you use it. You can copy and paste tables into Word as native Word tables. The following examples are specific to Microsoft Word, but they may work similarly in other word processing applications. Click the table in the viewer to select it. From the drop-down menu, choose Edit, Copy. Open your word processor. In the word processor menu, choose Edit, Paste Special. Select Formatted Text RTF in the Paste Special dialog box. Click OK. Your table is now displayed in your document. All of the table attributes, such as font sizes and colors, are retained. Because the table has been pasted into Word in a native format, you can edit the table in Word the same as you would any other table. You can also apply custom formatting, edit the data, and resize the table to fit your needs. Pivot tables can be copied to other applications as plain text. Using this method will not retain the formatting styles, but you can edit the table data after you paste it into a target application. This is particularly useful when you want to copy to Microsoft Excel. Click the table in the viewer to select it. Right-click and choose Copy. Open your spreadsheet, such as Excel. In the Spreadsheet menu, right-click and choose Paste Special. Select Text in the Paste Special dialog box. Your table is now displayed in the spreadsheet. As before, you can apply custom formatting, edit the data, and resize the table to fit your needs. Each column in the table has been separated by tabs. You can change the width of a column by adjusting the tab stops in a word processor or in Excel. You can export results to Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. You can select which items to export, and you can export all of the output file in the viewer. We will use an output file from the demo.sav data. From the Viewer menu, choose File, Export. Notice that the Objects to Export group is set to All. From the Type drop-down list, select Word RTF File Doc. Click OK to generate the Word file. You can double-click to open this file in Word. The output includes a large table called Notes. This table was not visible in the output, but it does appear here. If you do not want to export the Notes table, we can exclude it. This time, in the Viewer menu, click the Export button. Change the Objects to Export group to All Visible. Remember that the Notes table was not visible. Now click OK. Now the export only contains the visible tables and charts. You can also export specific analyses 
in the Outline pane. Click on any analysis in the Outline pane, right-click, and choose Export. It's sometimes useful to export your data set into Excel. In the Viewer window, click on the Export button. The document type will be Excel 2007 and higher. If you export to Excel, pivot table rows, columns, and cells become Excel rows, columns, and cells. The tables can then be further edited in Excel. If you wish, you can export all of the items in the viewer to a PDF. Click on the Export button. From the Export File Format File Type drop-down menu, choose Portable Document Format. The outline pane of the viewer document is converted to bookmarks in the PDF for easy file navigation. The resolution, or DPI, of the Portable Document Format is the current resolution setting for your default or the currently selected printer. For those of you using Windows, you have an additional option to export directly to PowerPoint. I can't imagine why you would want to do this, but here it goes. From the Viewer menu, choose File, export. If you export to a PowerPoint file, each exported item is placed on a separate slide. Note that export to PowerPoint is available only on Windows and it is not available in the student version of SPSS. Finally, if you want to display your SPSS output on a website, you can also export results to Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML. As before, click on the Export button. From the Export File Format File drop-down menu, choose Hypertext Markup Language HTML. When saving as HTML, all of the output is exported into a single HTML file. The file can be imported into your web design software for display on a website. You now know multiple ways to get your SPSS output into other formats that you can use. Remember that once you export, you will need to format your tables and charts in APA style.